or if they miss it today, okay? Everyone, um, I am presenting. You could still see my screen, correct? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to go in, and we're going to get started. Here we go. You can see it, right? Yep. Fantastic. So the What's Cooking Challenge for today was Heritage Recipe Day, which is fantastic. Um, last week's recap, we're going to first look at what we did last week. We had Team Toper. Um, Team Tope, they did a French toast, and it was so amazing. They got the most patriotic award last week. We had the Kokelbeck kids, and they had uh, the best brother team, and they did this fantastic uh, breakfast for lunch, which was great. They, like, poached their egg nicely. They had some guacamole. Looked really good, right? Firestone Girls, um, they got the award for complexity and teamwork. Look at that. They had they had two different flavors of milkshakes. They had just an amazing assortment of pancakes and fresh veg or fresh fruits and um, bacon that they made, which it's hard to get bacon that crisp. That bacon looks perfect. So um, we had the Sawicki family. They won uh, the award for best plating last, last week. They just made everything just look so scrumptious. Amazing. And we had Aiden Eats. Aiden got uh, second place last week with his amazing waffle dessert. So this was just a fantastic breakfast themed uh presentation you know aiden i have to say your your actual plating and your presentations are impeccable so we're gonna see how you do this week and finally we got first place for the finer family it was simple elegant and beautiful they basically um made pigs in or no um eggs eggs in like a, a pepper and everything was done so well. And just look at the colors. It was just amazing. So today's challenge or yesterday's challenge was the heritage recipe. And we started by highlighting the Sawicki family. I wanted to show this off. You know, I really like their use of um, authentic ingredients. They even had Polish ketchup. And they explained to us that that was actually a sweeter texture. And it's something that they liked. They had kielbasa. They had a lot of ingredients. Uh, Miss Weil, what did you think of this particular uh, recipe? Um, it was great. I think they showed all the little steps that they've made. They put a lot of stuff into this beautiful sandwich, the onions and the cheese and the ketchup. And I agree with you. I loved how they used everything that they go and shop in a special, I guess, um, Polish grocery store or something like that. Yeah, I thought that that was really a wonderful thing. So um, then we had the Bevilacqua family. What I liked about the Bevilacqua family is, and you brought this up, Miss Weil, in your, in your email to me kind of evaluating them, was the idea that they made 400 jars of their own sauce. And they, they actually sent me a video presentation of their trip to Italy and kind of their heritage, which I'm going to feature next week. I thought that that was really a nice nice uh nice thing that they did as well i also like their uh their use of balsamic vinegar here like this balsamic vinegar to decorate the pizza was beautiful so what did you think about this one miss wow yeah i i agree with you that the tradition of this whole family making fresh tomato sauce forever for everybody in the family was really unique and amazing i also loved how they wore the italia t-shirt and Sicily apron that Ava is wearing. So it was really a little cool touch that they added and the pizza looks amazing. Yeah. And I didn't even notice that until I was actually putting the slide together. So it was actually a really nice, uh, nice tribute to that country of their heritage, which I thought was nice. Then we had Aiden. Aiden. Oh my God. It just looks so beautiful again. Now, now uh, I did not forward the before pictures to you, Miss Wow, but if you take a look, he did a really nice job displaying his ingredients. Yeah, and I thought that he did a nice job showing his technique of rolling the roll. Um, very much. Yeah, it was it was beautiful. And it's it's one of my favorite cuisines. I love Korean food. I just think it's delicious. Um, especially like if if you go to some of the restaurants in Fort Lee and oh. Just amazing, amazing stuff. And this is beautiful. This is something I would order in a restaurant. So I thought he did a really nice job there. 
Yes, uh, the picture is amazing. And the sesame on top, the little touches, it's really, really beautiful. Yeah, I, I'm always fascinated by his plating. It's always like really articulately done. It's almost like he placed each little sesame seed. It's really, really <laughs> amazing. Um, Maeve and Claire, now, now they had a scone, which was a um, soda bread scone, and it just... It looked fantastic. It looked like something I would definitely eat. And I love their I love their plating and picture on the bottom. Um, if you take a look, they did it so that the kind of focal point is the scone, but in the background is some of the ingredients and the tea and stuff. So I thought that that was really well done too. Um, I'm not sure how they did that, but the depth of field, which means like which part of the picture is in focus, really highlights the scone. I thought that was nice. Yeah, they probably did it in portrait mode on the phone, so, which is great. Yep, let's not give away all their secrets, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly probably how they did it. I also like their picture of the of Maeve and Claire together. I think that that was nice. I saw them working a lot together as they were pouring the batter and doing some different things. So that was all positive. This one I found to be really intriguing. Nick's mock chopped liver. Now, I'm not a fan of chopped liver, but when I look at this, that looks almost like guacamole to me, and I would eat that. So I thought that this was a very unique recipe. I think that um, he also did a beautiful job showcasing both the, his technique as well as the finished product. What did you think, Miss Weil? Yeah, I really like that it. it's a grandma, I think it's um, Jody's grandma's um, recipe or Nick's grandma's, I'm not sure. Um, but I really liked about it also is that the original recipe, they didn't have all the ingredients for the original recipe. And it was just interesting to see and to hear what's the compromise and how, because we're all in the same boat here, right? We don't always have the exact recipe. So how the adjustment they made and also the fresh um, crackers from the sourdough um, that they made, which was amazing and, and great to see how they used that. Um, yeah, they, they got some sourdough from a friend of theirs, right? Um, I'm a little disappointed that they didn't do their own sourdough because I did show you how to do that. Um, but I think that it's a really an amazing recipe and they did a nice job. So. I think they did do their sourdough and they just ran out, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, is that what it was? Okay. I think so, because I've seen posts that she did about that. So I might be wrong, but I think they just ran out and they wanted more and somebody didn't use it. So they took it oh, from you know what? Let's get some clarification. Nick, are you on the line? Can you, can you clarify this for us? <laughs> So this this was um, another mom in town had offered early in the um, quarantine to share her sourdough starter before you shared your recipe. Ah, okay. So we actually got it before you suggested that we make our own. Um, so I've been using it, and it's a great starter. So that's you know what? And th then I do not blame you because honestly, if you had a starter that was established and has been going on a long right. time it's going to be so much better than something you just started a week ago. So that's that is delicious. So we've made sourdough bread. We made English muffins. Uh, we made naan. We've, we've made a naan. Oh, it's still my heart. I love Indian food. Naan would be like, I would love to see that one day. That'd be cool. I, I, I can send you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to see that. That's good. Okay. Send me a picture. I'm interested. So Nick, you did a great job. I'm really proud of you. I love the fact. And I know that you guys were like, well, it's a little greener than it normally would be. I think it looks beautiful. I think it makes it pop. Um, and I also like the garnish that you guys used at the top. So well done. Thank you. Yeah, my mom thinks that it was the walnuts would have made it darker, but. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I, I still think it came out really good. Nice. Yeah, it was and tasty. Yeah, good. Excellent. So now we have the Finer family, and I love their use of the Israeli flag there to really show the, the heritage and the pride. I think that that's great. And it really, I, I also have to give it to them. They always really highlight not only the finished product in their pictures, but also the initial ingredients. Like if you look to the left and that, that latke um, plate, they have the fresh herbs in front of it. They have the apples and the citrus. I just, I think that this is so pretty and I think that they do such a nice job photographing in particular. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this is actually a Photoshopped picture. Is the Finer family on? Can you guys tell me if that flag is Photoshopped, the plate of the latkes in front of the flag? No, it's not. 
It's not. How did you get that picture then? Um, well, it was a little breezy that day. Um, I guess like it was a little windy and we kind of originally we were gonna one of us was actually gonna like climb this little cherry blossom tree and then hold up the plate in front of the tree because it was really pretty, but then we realized we were running out of time, so then we just grabbed this flag that we have in our house and we brought it outside and we brought the dish outside and great choice i think it makes the latkes pop and even the tomatoes that you have on there it just looks really nice what do you think miss weil yeah i agree with you the picture is lovely both of them and um, the one on the left also very artistic and um and you can really see i mean those latkes are really really making me want to eat them all so um <laughs> they look amazing and and they talked about it in the competition how they really tried to make them all the same shape and um mm -hmm. they worked very hard and very neatly and, and the result looks great and i like their use of granny smith apples that's my favorite type of apple it's it's yeah. a nice tart bitter taste it's a really wonderful flavor um it's not as sweet so that was a good choice too i i this is definitely a meal i would want to eat for lunch yeah the um picture definitely required a lot of um teamwork mm -hmm. one of us held the plate while the other held the flag and took the picture so um we wouldn't have been able to do it without each other oh that's great that's really nice. And and how have you guys been getting together as a family with this type of thing? Good? It sounds like you guys are really cooperative and, and really working out well together. So that's lovely. You know, sometimes we have to always look for our blessings. And, and we are in a, a really difficult situation for many families. But in the same aspect, there's blessings in how we can come together as a team and as a family. So I'm really happy that you guys are experiencing that. Okay, the Kushner family. Now, I love this. I look, I look at this and I say, that looks like it came from a store almost. Like, just look at how well the, the, the shape looks. And, and when Jackson actually put this up to his face and he was like breaking off a piece, you realize that this, this actual finished piece of, piece of matzah is bigger than his head. It was cool. <laughs> Um, that that was like my favorite thing. I also like that they learned this from their aunt in preschool, and this is actually a preschool recipe. I thought that that was fun, and it it shows kind of a connection of of culture and heritage, even with the very young. So that was excellent. How about you, Miss Wild? Did you have anything that you wanted to add to this? Yeah, I, mean, I agree. I was fascinated by it because that obviously it's part of my um, heritage and tradition. And um, I am not a big fan of matzah, but this one looks really, really good. <laughs> really <laughs> something that's probably is even better than the store bought, as you say. Um, and they did a great job with the holes and, and making it and flattening the dough. And it was really, really lovely to see. And what was interesting is they talked about you know making the holes and that actually prevents the the bubbles from forming and if you look right. at closely at this matzah you'll see that where there are holes bubbles weren't really forming so it actually prevents the bubbles from being too big so that was a technique that even these little guys knew so i'm, I'm really pleased with that i thought that was great uh the Shermer family now I, you know i have to i have to send some love out to these guys because they actually took pictures of um, the floats that they do with their grandmother um, up in, I believe, Connecticut or Massachusetts. Shermer family, are you on? Shermer family? No, I guess not. I guess they're not on. But you know, I think that it came out really nice, and it is really an homage to to their grandmother and their their family. So I thought that was really beautiful, and I also love how many raisins they have. Uh, this is a difficult recipe. I've tried to make soda bread, and I've failed miserably at it comparatively. <laughs> so when I look at what they've they've accomplished, like you can tell that they've done this many times, and that the, this is something that's a practice method, which means, you know, and also when they were talking about it, they were like, oh yeah, this many cups of that. They could just rattle it off. So I love that aspect, the fact that they will never forget their grandmother's soda bread. So did you want to say anything about this one, Miss Wild? No, I totally agree with you on, on every word. It really, and, and it looks amazing. And I love the float idea too. It was very cool to see. Yeah, that, that was a nice touch. Um, I think that that was good. Not sure about the plastic flowers, but uh, <laughs> other than that, I think it was amazing. <laughs> 
And then we had the Miskovitz family. And what I found fascinating about these guys is they actually talked to me about the importance of unleavened bread and how they use it in a recipe to kind of make variety. And um, something that seems very simple looks delicious, and they made it something that, that you know, you could tell that they love this dish. And I also really enjoyed watching the brother and sister work together as a team. So those are some of the highlights. Um, I have no idea how she got the, the blueberries to stick on top of those strawberries <laughs> either. I don't know if those are toothpicks. I hope you were careful when eating it. But uh, th this looked really nice. I think they had a lot of fun doing it. So uh, did you want to add anything about this, Miss Wow? Yeah, I, I agree that what I saw the most is how much this is something they really love and probably... I mean, I'm curious if, you know, Passover is one week a year, so I wonder if they eat it and they're so excited because it's this once a year dish that they eat or they eat it more regularly, but you saw the excitement and the love and the fun of making it. Yeah, I'm going to, it sounds to me like somebody's knocking, so hold on. I'm just going to leave this for a second and make sure that I don't have anybody who's trying to get in here. Oh, yeah, the Sawikis are trying to come in. Hello, Swicky family. Okay, very good. Good, I didn't give away any answers. Okay. Now, we are up to Sabrina. Now, Sabrina is a return candidate. She she just loves being in the camera, and she's like in most of our morning announcements. She's become like a staple to us, and I just see her thriving. I'm just so happy to see like how outside of – outside of her shell she's come and and you know it's great to see kindergartners involved in so much so um really really pleased with what she's done and and she wanted to do matzo pancakes but then she wanted pizza for lunch so, so she <laughs> went ahead and made one of those as well so i highlighted both i thought that was fun um i really really enjoy watching her cook each week so what did you think, Miss Wow? Yeah, I think it was also amazing how comfortable she is around the stove. She was just going there. She was turning it on. She was, you know, like she's been in the kitchen forever. And it is amazing, as you say, and for a kid, kindergartner, it's really, really was so much fun to see. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I really enjoy seeing the little ones come out. And you could see that what she came up with looks fantastic. You know, it yes. looks really good. And she, she, I love her honesty, too, because when we asked if she did the, the heart for Haworth, her answer was, <laughs> um, no, no, we were just cleaning it up, and that's how we did it. <laughs> right, I agree. So, you know, she wasn't looking for brownie points, which I think is even more impressive, that she's, like, just looking to, to – to always be honest, and that's that's a truthful answer, and I really appreciated that. So, Absolutely. well done, Sabrina. Well done. So, uh, it is now time to start talking about the winners. Now, for the sheer simple elegance of what these kids had done, I think the Kushner family uh, gets the sheer simplicity award. They did a really nice job doing something that's very traditional, and sometimes it's really not about you know, making an elaborate meal. Sometimes it's just about being perfect in what you do. And I, you. I have to oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Kushner. Jackson, is that you? It's That's, both of us. It's both of you. I think you guys did a really nice job there. And I also like the teamwork. I thought that was nice. So um, I could tell that this is something that you guys really have in your heart and we're able to do. Um, that was an excellent job. So next we have the best plated and uh, presented dish, and that goes to the Finer family. I just love the use of the Israeli flag. I love the way that they use the ingredients to, to really highlight the meal. So I thought that that was amazing. Miss Wow, what did you think of this? Yeah, I I, told, I mean, listen, it, to me, it, it, it hits close to home, so it's very personal and moving. So, um, yeah. yeah, but it was beautiful. And I love the, especially the, the picture on the left with all the ingredients in the background with the plants and, and so beautiful. It really and is. they did that last week, too. And quite frankly, mm -hmm. that's that's one of the things that kicked them over the top last week. It was just it was it's just beautiful. It's yes. just beautiful, and they do a nice job. Aiden has another fantastic presentation. It is, it is just a gorgeous dish, and I loved his attention to detail. He brings that every week to what he does. And and as a second grader, I think you know 
it's just amazing that he's won two of the comp competitions. He got first place one week, second place the next. And I just think that um, he's definitely someone who brings it each and every week. Um, the one area that we wish we would have heard a little bit more about was the cultural piece. I would want to. I would have wanted to hear a little bit more about why this is so culturally important to him, and, and a little bit more in that that way. Uh, what did you think, Miss Weil? Yeah, I, I agree with you, and I, I love. I have to say, as a designer, as you said, the attention to detail. You know, the black seaweed on the white plate, and it's really, really magnificent. It is. It is apt. The colors just pop, yes. and he does a really nice job plating. It's just simple elegance again. So, Nick's mocked mock chopped liver. I gave this the innovation award because yes, it is heritage, but it's also the most innovative. Like it's not a typical recipe that you would see, and I just thought that they did a great job both innovating in terms of the recipe, but also in limited ingredients. And I think that you mentioned that a little bit earlier, Miss Weil, focusing on kind of what the ingredients were and um, that they could have, they, that was a challenge. So, yes. yep. So that's that's kind of where that is. Um, now we have the Sawicki family. Now, what I loved about the Sawicki family is that they had um, really a variety of ingredients. They had um, authentic ingredients. You can tell that they're very proud of their culture and their heritage, and that's come out before in their video that they made for us in the morning announcements. But also, it, they just bring their own person each 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 week forward with with some of what they do, and I really love how the brother and sister work together and they're collaborative too. So those are some of the strengths that I've noted. What yeah. about you, Miss Wow? Yeah, I agree. We talked about it at the beginning. The the and I, I love I think the the main focus of this competition was the heritage and it really came through in, in their presentation and their cooking together with their mom and, and it was really lovely. It really was. And because of that, they have gotten the second place award. Congratulations to Wiki family. You did a great job. We loved it. Now it is time to unveil our first place uh, position. Now, now um, I have to be honest, it's the whole package here. So when we looked at everything, when I took a, a gander at what all everyone submitted, um, the Bevel Aqua family were head and shoulders above. They sent videos of their tour of Italy. They gave this beautiful presentation of the pizza. I think that I've, I've never seen a pizza that looks quite this good. Mm -hmm. And um, they also talked about how much they've they've done for their culture, which was the 400 jars of tomato sauce. Like it's true that they, they chose something that's simple and elegant, but really wonderfully done. And for that reason, they got the coveted first place award. Mm -hmm. So that will be arriving in your driveway um, whenever <laughs> <laughs> it's fully digital, which is why it's staying on the screen. But congratulations, Bevilacqua family. Would anybody like to open up the forum and give any congratulations to one another? Well, I will say first congratulations to all the winners and everybody that have participated. It was so much fun to watch and learn about your heritage and see you uh, in the kitchen that it was really, really wonderful to see. I absolutely agree. I think this is one of my favorite things ever to do. Like, it's just so nice. Um, I'm going to stop sharing so that we can actually have a conversation. I think that everybody did a great job. Oh, there's the Sawicki father. Hello, Mr. Sawicki. How are you? Are you proud of your kids? You can turn on your microphone if you like. Oh, there they are. Oh, <laughs> they're like, no, nah, we don't need to hear it. <laughs> um, that's okay. So, uh, Avery, you wanted to say something? Congratulations, everyone, he says. That's awesome, they say. Yep. Um, Ms. Kushner, did you want to say something? Okay, turn on your microphone and you could say something. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah. I think everybody did such a nice job. Anyone else want to congratulate? Yeah, go ahead. Mr. Lee, Aiden, go ahead. Congratulations and good luck 
for next week. I know. Are you guys excited about the topic next week? We're going to do d dessert, which is fantastic. That'll be fun. Anyone else want to say anything? Yeah. Congratulations, okay. everybody. It all looks delicious. And Avery, uh, Miss, Miss Kowitz would like to say something. Go ahead. Um, congratulations, everyone. Yay. Very good. Very good. I think mm -hmm. that everybody did a fantastic job. So anyone else? No? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Mr. Sawicki. Congratulations to the first place. And do they do deliveries? Do they do deliveries? <laughs> Unfortunately, during the coronavirus, we do not do deliveries. I want to keep all of you safe. We are going to, we should actually do a recipe exchange though, because I, I would love to make some of these. I don't think I would do as well at it as you guys, quite frankly, but I would love to do that. It's just amazing. So anyone else? Yeah, go ahead, Ms. Feiner. Well, um, it's actually about the competition next week. Um, I was wondering for some desserts that involve baking, um, it sometimes it depends on the dessert, but yeah. um, it may take longer than like, or it may take a longer time to bake. So would we be allowed to begin the baking before the competition starts? Let's do this. This time around, I gave you guys no time limit. I'm going to do no time limit next week too. Okay, so we'll meet at 12, but, there, but then it ends at the end of the day. Yeah, so you'll have time to send me your finished products. We won't have to see your finished products live on camera. How's that? That makes sense, right? So this way you have time to bake. And I don't, wanna, I don't want you to have to start baking before you're done with your school day, right? Because most of your schooling goes until 12 o'clock. So um, starting next week on Fridays, you're going to have a focus on the electives and the special areas. So that's going to be a little bit of a change that's coming for you. Um, on Monday, you're not going to have special areas. You're only going to have the, the core areas. And then on Friday, you're only going to have the special areas. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is going to look and feel the same for you, where you'll have your core four and you'll have an elective period or a special. Yeah, Ms. Carter explained it to us this morning. Yeah, so that's coming out. And um, that's, that's basically to give my teachers the ability to plan a little bit better and to give you guys more worthwhile opportunities. And I really want a focus going more on the arts because we abandoned the arts for a little while. Like, not that they were abandoned, but we didn't really have high expectations. And I wanted to focus on the core areas of instruction but now that we're into this, we're going to shift a little bit more towards towards all of our subjects. And we're going to go back towards a more normal schedule eventually. So that's kind of what I see. So do you guys have any questions for me about that? Sabrina, I see you making all sorts of faces. Do you want to say something to us? Go ahead, Sabrina. No? Okay. Okay, Avery, you would like to say something? Go ahead. What if it takes, like, maybe a couple of days to make? To make your dessert? Well, I might. Mm. I would avoid something that takes a couple of days. I would want to do it within uh -huh. one afternoon, right? So uh -huh. let's say that there is a time limit, but it's only one afternoon, okay? That'll okay. save you from, you know being too over involved now if you have a dessert that you do over a couple of days that you'd like to share pictures with us of that's fine but for the competition i'm going to say one afternoon okay so but that is that sounds like a really cool thing okay anyone else want to add anything do you guys like the topic of dessert let me see your thumbs dessert oh <laughs> Okay, are you able to see everybody? If you guys are using grid view, I just want look at look at Aiden. Aiden, do that again. That was hilarious. He's like, he's all excited. I love it. Make sure you guys use grid view when, when you're in this and you use Google Chrome as your browser because you're able to do more stuff with with Google Meet that way. That's actually the best viewer to use. Um Anyone else want to add anything before we resign for this? I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend. Please continue to social distance. Um, 
Well, I'm going to say physical distance because I hate the idea of social distance. I think you need to physically distance from others, but I think socially we should all, all be co connected, right? So I miss all of you. We adore all of you. Um, if anybody has any questions, you're able to stay on. I'll stay on a little while and I'll answer any. But that was a great presentation. I think you all did well. Um, if you have questions, you can always email me as well, okay? Fantastic. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Hughes. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm going to stop recording, but you guys can continue staying on.